Welcome back. Tonight we have an Arizona's family investigate special report exposing the risks of something that's pretty common. We're talking about dental implants. Investigative reporter Chris Pickle is joining us live in studio. You've put so much work into this, Chris. What and, can you tell us? And this is going to surprise a lot of people. We are exposing that dental implants have millions of reports of problems, according to an expert more than any other medical device. And when I shared what we uncovered during this investigation with the FDA, the agency added additional warnings on their website. What do I say? Save my life. Save my life. I don't want to be sick anymore. So frail, she rarely leaves her apartment. Ginger Peters says for 11 years, she's been years dying now. a slow death. I'm always sick. I'm just always sick. Were you always sick before the dental implants? No. No. Pictures show how the once active five foot nine blonde dropped to just 85 pounds at her lowest. Ginger says this started when she went to have a cavity fixed but the dentist convinced her pulling her teeth would help her recover from valley fever. You went in for one cavity and the dentist convinced you to pull 22 teeth. 22 teeth and one cavity because it was going to improve my life. But her new teeth never fit right. These are the posts. My gums are in a constant state of Irritation, infection, let's get to the bottom. I don't think that they uh, did the bone grafts or anything correctly there. This bin of prescription containers, a small portion of the painkillers and antibiotics Ginger's been prescribed for ongoing gum infections, pain, and health issues. When I eat, how you eat is that? How do you eat? They just pop right out. Ginger's case is extreme, but wow. not unique. Reports of problems or adverse events with dental implants may have remained almost impossible to find if it wasn't for this woman. Madrice Kennard made a discovery while searching an FDA database. Dental implants are the most reported device to the FDA um, now in history. Madrice is a former FDA analyst. She now runs Device Events, a company that specializes in searching MOD, the FDA's database where problems with medical devices are reported. That database shows over the last three years, reports of problems with dental implants have surged. Anybody who had looked at the adverse events or the problem reports with devices over the last 20 to 25 years would have thought that there were um, almost no problems with dental implants. Dental implants are used to replace natural teeth. The implant is the base, which is screwed into the jawbone. Another piece connects the implant to the replacement tooth or teeth. Reports of problems with dental implants have flown under the radar, partly because the FDA had two systems for reporting problems. The MOD database, where 58,000 reports were publicly available, and a second system called Alternative Summary Reporting, where manufacturers reported more than 2.1 million problems the public couldn't see. The FDA ended the use of the private reporting system in 2018 and released decades of data. Going through the FDA's database now, Madrid says reports of problems with dental implants are skyrocketing. Watch these numbers. In 2018, there were less than 13,000 reports of adverse events. Possibly due to more awareness, reports have shot up by more than 100,000 each year. The 357,000 reports in MOD this year covers January through September. Basically, the device is rejected. Um, so the jawbone recedes, the tissue recedes, and the implant falls out, or the implant is never accepted um, at all by the body. Of the more than 2.9 million adverse events reported for dental implants, Madrice found 88% are implants failing immediately or over time, which results in the implant being removed.
So it's very concerning to me as well. I'm not sure why the FDA hasn't put out any kind of a notification uh, to patients, to physicians. The FDA told me there are more reports of problems because more people are getting implants. Dental implants are extremely safe. Can implants fail? Oh, absolutely. It's just like any other medical procedure. Dr. Terry Work has done dental implants for more than a decade. His before and after pictures show why implants are growing in popularity. But no agency or organization tracks how many dental implants are placed every year. If there's a dentist that said he hasn't had an implant fail, then they either haven't placed them or they're lying. I mean, it happens. It is one of those things. It's an accepted part of providing this service. I can select the manufacturer of the implant. I can Dr. Work is also a consultant bone, for the Arizona Board of Dental bone. Examiners, where he investigates complaints about dental implants. Not every clinician is equal. Um, there are some clinicians that are more careful than others. There's different manufacturers. And, and the same implant in two different people's hands can have a little bit different success rate. In addition to the skill level of the person performing the procedure, Dr. Work says the patient can affect an implant success. Let's say if you have someone that's in poor health, has poor oral hygiene, they may not be a great candidate. And so it doesn't mean you can't place implants on them, but what it means is you have to tell them, listen, these are the possible outcomes. But training and patient sure health may not be the only factors. Properly. How and often do you problem. find contamination on these implants? Far too many implants, three out of 10. Dr. Dirk Dudek runs what the I Clean Implant the Foundation, a lab in Berlin accredited by the German government. A video he provided shows using a clean room, he has tested hundreds of dental implants that are supposed to be sterile. But Dr. Dudek says he has found everything from toxic chemicals used in production to tiny metal fragments on the implants. For example, metal um, particles that contain iron, chromium, nickel, even tungsten or copper and tin. Mouths are not all that clean. So what does it matter if there is contamination on the implant? Every foreign body, every impurity <clears throat> leads to a foreign body reaction because the body tries to get rid of these particles. With Dr. Dudek describing various metals he claims he's found on the implants, something Ginger said she told her dentist stands out. You told them you had a metal allergy. I did. I told them I had a metal allergy. Um, and they I, said, don't worry about it? Don't worry about it. Metals, titanium is different than metal. Did they tell you it was pure titanium and nothing else in it? There is absolutely no way you can be allergic to those. Those are titanium. People can be allergic to titanium, but it is rare. This led us to research what else is in dental implants. Turns out, manufacturers only have to list general materials, such as titanium alloy, which means a mixture of metals. But the other metals are not revealed. Okay. This okay. raises the question, could Ginger be allergic to her implants? I arranged for Ginger to take a highly sensitive blood test to determine if she has a metal allergy. Her results, not allergic to titanium, but she is allergic to nickel. Studies and medical literature discuss the presence of nickel in some dental implants. This picture shows what can happen if nickel touches the skin of someone who is allergic. Very, very rarely do we actually see allergies to metal when they are implanted inside the mouth. Dr. James Giannis is a dermatologist with Mayo Clinic. He says while he has seen reactions to mercury and gold inside someone's mouth, he's never linked problems with dental implants to nickel. And cautions other factors can create symptoms similar to an allergic reaction. If it's not an allergy, what else could it be? Gum inflammation alone does not define allergy. It's important to rule out any active evidence of infection, but we need to be mindful of whether or not there are any other autoimmune processes that could be contributing to the redness. The makers of Ginger's implant would not answer our questions, including the specific question on if their implants contain nickel. In fact, 
None of the more than two dozen dental implant manufacturers we contacted would answer any of our questions for this investigation. Always covering my face when I laugh. So. While ads touting the benefits of dental implants are easy to find, finding information on the risks is more challenging. On the FDA's website, warnings fell under this generic page titled Implants and Prosthetics, which never mentions dental implants. However, shortly after I took the details of what we uncovered in this investigation to the FDA, the agency added this new page titled Dental Implants, What You Should Know, which lists multiple risks, including failure. But according to the page, the devices do not cause an allergic reaction. In a stack of her medical records, we found the waiver Ginger signed acknowledging there could be complications, but Ginger says the risks were downplayed. Everything you do, you sign that you agree something could go wrong, but you're not expecting it to. I didn't expect 11 years of my life to be taken from me. With the average cost of a single dental implant about $4,000 and rarely covered by insurance, Ginger was charged $32,000 for her teeth, but says the real cost was her health. Every morning I wake up, I got to figure out how I'm going to get through the day. And there's been times I don't want to figure that out anymore. I'm tired. I'm sick. And there's nobody out there who's going to fix me. While the FDA put up this new web page, nothing has been done yet to alert the public that there are millions of reports of problems. And the FDA acknowledges that not all problems get reported to their database. So while we know of almost 3 million reports, in reality, that number might be even higher. And we do have much more for you right now on this investigation on our website, azfamily.com. I'm Chris Pickle for Arizona's Family.